Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Um, welcome back. As you know, I'm Jason Flowers, and on this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I actually work on a drawing. So if you want, come on over, go ahead and get started. Now, as you can see, this is a zombified mummy creature that I am working on for a convention. And pretty much what I do when I'm working on a drawing is uh, I do both the pencils and the inks. So when I'm doing stuff, I really do really light pencil work. I don't go in and do a lot of detail. I go in and just do just pretty much a basic outline of where things are going to go and like pretty much the anatomy structure. And then I'll go in with my ink and actually do the fine detail pieces. And that's what takes the longest. The penciling I can do within 20-30 minutes. It's the inking that takes the longest. So when I am inking I use um, I use pens. A lot of people depending on the artist whatever they feel they're comfortable with they use. A lot of artists use brushes. Some use pens. Um, some use Photoshop or Illustrator me, I use pens. And the pens I will be using are these Micron pens, as you can see here. And usually I use a 02 when I'm working on art. Um, when I'm wanting to do a little bit finer detail, I'll use a 01. Or if it's extra fine detail, I'll even go in and use a 0 .005. So when I'm going to do something in terms of thicker outlines, I use a little bit of a 0 0.5 or more. But for this, 0 0.2. And uh, pretty much, you can see here, I have a lot of stuff already pre-outlined. And these little areas here with these X's are what is kind of like an artist little trick to knowing where I'm going to be spotting my blacks. So. I put these little X's here to kind of let myself know that when I erase the drawing, um, these little opened areas with the X's tell me that you need to go back in and you need to fill that with black. And usually with that, I use brush pens, which um, these are Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. And this one, for instance, is a big brush. This one, this one's really good for those giant spaces of black that you're going to go in. But um, for something as fine detailed as this, you want to use maybe a little bit thinner piece of pen work. And again, these are easy to find. They're easy to use. Um, I love them because they're cheap. They work really well, and I get the drawing done a lot faster. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to show you a little bit of me working on the piece followed by um, yeah that's pretty much it I guess just working on the piece so let's go ahead and get started on it um, pretty much this piece is a lot of outlining and it's just a lot of fine detailed work um, well, I get asked all the time you know this looks great what do you how long does it usually take you to do this piece and for something like that um, it's hard to answer that question because it all depends. You know, sometimes a piece might take a couple hours. Um, other times it might take a couple of days. It really depends. I'm one of these people that kind of, I get kind of antsy after a while. So when I'm working on a drawing, I don't like to sit here and work on it for like four or five hours. I'll, I'll stop for a while, leave it, come back, work on it some more, leave it go on, you know, go mess around on the internet or something. If I've been sitting for a very long time, you know, and I'm stuck on the piece and I can't figure out where I want to take it or what I want to do with it, I will, uh, you know, leave it alone for the night. You know, come back to it the next morning with a fresh pair of eyes, you know. That way I'm not messing anything up because I'm trying to rush it. But, um, this piece like I said, extremely fine detail line work because of all the wrappings. Um, I usually have a tendency to, as my a good buddy of mine, fellow artist, he likes to say I cheat myself 
when I'm working on certain pieces because I don't put as many blacks into it. And the reason I don't do that sometimes is because if I know it's something that I'm going to be coloring myself, that I won't, I'll leave a certain area open. That way, when I do go in and color it, I already know it's supposed to be there. So I've saved myself some time. But um, I do agree sometimes it, I do feel like the original piece looks cheated compared to the colored version. So I've been getting a little bit better about throwing heavier blacks in here and there and making stuff look a lot better. But he uh, definitely made me realize that, which is pretty cool. So um, as you can see here, I've done some detail in the wrappings. And that's pretty much the gist of what everything is going to be doing. But um, I'm going to go in here a little more to where there's indentions into the zombie's actual skin to kind of make it look like he is deteriorated a little bit. And again, I've got these nice X's to let me know once I've erased everything that I'm going to go in and fill that in with black. All right, and um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, on my next tutorial, I will be showing the finished ink piece and followed by how I am going to actually be coloring it. So I look forward to seeing you guys again, and I'm hoping you like these tutorials.